Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? Welcome in Winning Cures Everything NFL Big Game Previews for week number 13. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. Whew, we have got some big time matchups this week. That's so good. That's so good. It gets me fired up every single time. Every single time. Yeah, we got a uh, we got 49ers Ravens. Yeah, it's going to be we, an incredible game. We got a uh, we got three games on Thanksgiving. Yep. Like you remember when there was only two games Thanksgiving? Well, yeah, they used to just do the Lions and the Cowboys game and then we began to do Thursday night football in the and NFL. And they continued it for and Thanksgiving. So they were like, "Well, let's have a Thursday night game." And not a bad matchup on Thursday night this week. Saints Falcons. Oh, it's usually always a good matchup. Yeah. It's not too shabby. It was Saints Falcons I, last year too. I like Thanksgiving week because we don't have a million games on at the noon time because you have three Thanksgiving games to take away from that. You still have your Sunday night, Monday night game. They don't give you a lot of afternoon games still, but they're not doing that anyway. So therefore, that noon slot's not so clogged up. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, Sunday night football, you got Pats Texans. You got all, we're, we're talking about a ton of stuff. Yep. Uh, a lot of games that uh, that are going to help decide divisions this week. I think so. So lots of uh, lots of interesting games this week. Of course, you can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Uh, all of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Make sure you follow us at both of those. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think about the matchups this week, who you like, who you don't like, etc., uh, tell us what you like about the show, of course. Uh, the show always brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. You can find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. Let's go ahead and fire into game number one. The 49ers at the Ravens. These are the two hottest teams in football right now, and it didn't get flexed. It's a noon game. Not always good for the West Coast team coming East Coast, playing the early game. I mean, it's 10 a.m. body clock. It's at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, 12 p.m. on Fox. 46 and a half is the total. There is a 90% chance of rain, a high of 49. It's going to be cold. It's going to be disgusting. It's going to be nasty. Six points seems like a lot here. Yeah, I actually think that the, the weather helps the 49ers because they're the defensive team not the offensive team, and both these teams run the football a lot. Yeah. I, I so think it's rare that the weather would help the road team, but A, if you if you got a kind of a strange body clock, you get out there, it's cold and you're wet, it's, it's gonna, gonna wake, wake your ass up. Yeah. I mean, no nobody's gonna be sleeping here. No, you got that right. The oh. uh, the 49ers, of course, put a beat down on the Packers last week in what was supposed to be an NFC showdown. The Ravens just dismantled. Well, both of these teams the showed out on Monday night and Sunday night football. I, I, I think the 49ers beat the better of the two teams, but I don't know that they're that much better. No, I agree. I mean, I think both of these teams are playing about as optimal as you can. We're going to get kind of what we want here in the immovable object is, is going up against the unstoppable force of the defensive front for the 49ers going against Lamar Jackson and this offense um, that that's, that's, you know, that we're seeing from Baltimore. Yeah. Now you're, you're right about that. Um, 49ers like to run. The Ravens obviously like to run. Yes. I'm wondering if the 46 and a half may be a bit too much. Like, obviously like both teams can put up points. I was just about to say, Yes, they both run, but they kind of both score a lot. Oh, yeah, they, they can both score, but at, these defenses are no joke here. Like, it, this this will be the best defense the Ravens have played. Oh, no, that's not questionable. Well, ooh, uh, they, well they, they, played they, the okay, they played the Pats. Statistically, the Pats are better than the 49ers. I, how about this? I think they're. I think the 49ers are the best front. That yes. They play. Oh, yeah, they're completely different teams. No. Yes. Yeah, one team plays from the front back, and the other team plays from the back forward. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that they're, they're built – about as opposite as you can be built. Um, and, and still both be really, really yeah. good. I, I do remember on Sunday Night Football, I don't know if I text you and that group or I had another group of guys that I was texting, but Devontae Adams was being covered man-to-man by Richard Sherman, <laughs> and I made the comment, 
if Richard Sherman is covering your number one receiver, you don't have a number one receiver. It, which Richard is crazy. Sherman has, I mean, he's just older, and DB is one of those positions where you get old fast, you yes. know? And, uh, and not that he's not playing great and he's not having a great year. A lot of that has to do with the defensive front helping him have that. And he kind of shut Devontae down. Oh, yeah. Big and, time. And, and that surprised me. Now, I don't see him shutting. Surely he's not going to be matched up on Hollywood. Speed-wise, he can't handle Hollywood. Yeah, I agree. He just he just won't be able to, to hang with him. Um, I'm, I'm super curious about how defensively they're going to play them. Oh, I'm, I I agree. Uh, this is the reason the line looks so big to me is this looks like it will be a defensive kind of slugfest. And and while I do understand that both teams are really able to score points right now, uh, two really creative uh, offensive minds going to work. I think the defenses can actually it, with, with the weather conditions and everything else. I mean this this feels like a field goal kind of game to me. Man, I thought so too. I think it's too many points. I do think it's too many. I mean, points. it opened four and a half, and then I mean, Baltimore went bananas on um, Monday Night Football, and it's I mean, like, but it's like everybody forgot that the 49ers went bananas on Sunday Night Football. That's, I mean, hell, it happened twenty four hours before. That's it's not that's like a it whole happened day. A, that's it's a not whole like it happened cycle. a week ago. I understand, but I, like everybody is in love with Lamar Jackson right now. It rightfully so. Yeah, I'm rightfully so. No. no like it he he be. has been unbelievable. Look, it, we've talked about this before. I don't know if we talked about it on the show. Yeah. Uh, three straight weeks, they have not punted or turned the football over with him on the field. With him on the field, they scored a hundred percent of all the drives. That is, in for three insane. weeks straight. That's just nuts. They punted twice in three weeks, and both of those drives were RG three garbage time. Yeah, and and I just I don't see it happening here. I don't think that happens. No, no, they're, they're punting. Yeah. This defensive front might not shut them down. They will punt in this game. I, I will I will assure you. I will make that <laughs> bet right now. I don't know what kind of odds I could get, but but if it's a yes, no, will the Ravens punt with Lamar on the field, I would bet a lot on yes. At they some point, will punt. it is going to happen. Yes. I That's don't know. It. I don't know how or when or why. It might not be the first drive of the game. It might not be the second. It might no. not be the third. But at some point in time, they will punt. I think this defense is going to figure things out. Yeah, I think so. Now, really they may not be, Bosa is really good. I, it I may not be it. figured out enough to win the game. That's right. But I do think the 49ers can keep this game close. That's right. Now, Jimmy G has – Jimmy G is getting he's, – he's like a poor man's Jameis, but with a way better – I don't even want to say weapons because he doesn't have better weapons – not a better coach. They're they're pretty equal in coaching. I think the scheme is better. May, maybe it, it keeps him out of more trouble. I don't know. Well, he's not a, he's not as big of an idiot as Jameis, but he's going to keep the other team in the game. He'll give you the ball a couple of times. Uh, you, he's not as bad to, as Jameis. You don't want to do that against the Ravens. Well, no, no. You give Lamar extra possessions. Yeah, no, that's, that's a bad idea. That's how this game gets ugly fast. Yeah, you're you're right about that. When the problem is, is they're a buzzsaw. If they get out on you, you're not catching up. No, you're, you're, right. ju you're just not. They get up by three scores, it's over. Yeah. You you might be able to make it a one-score game and make it look like it was close when it's done, but you're not getting them to go three unanswered scores. I, I just don't see that happening with this Baltimore team. If they play from the front, they're not losing to anybody. Yeah. You're now, right. that game that they lost, one of the games that they lost was to Kansas City on the road. A, they weren't playing nearly as good as they're playing right now, and they got behind early. I I think if 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 that game is played again, I think they're favored now. Oh yeah, and they just just gotta get. This is one of those situations where you don't do the Belichick thing and punt and want the ball at second half. I think they want the ball early. Yeah, you want to go up early, and they want it often. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and make picks. Oh. Uh, I, I'm going to take the Ravens to win. I'm going to take the 49ers to cover. Man, I, it's tough, isn't it? If it, it, this is the one game I'm not, I'm not touching. I'm not touching at all. If I have to pick it, that's what I'm probably going to pick. I think this is your Super Bowl preview. 
Woo. I don't see anybody in the NFC beating the 49ers. I don't think so either. And in the AFC, I don't think the Pats can hang with this team. And I think the AFC is a two-horse race. I don't think Kansas City has the pieces to hang with either one of these boys. You might be right. Now, I know the Pats' offense hasn't looked great. They get in the playoffs and have to play Kansas City. Bill has is, Bill is just owned Andy Reid and that offense, and they'll figure him out. I don't know that they have the dudes. It's not about can we figure him out. It's even if we've got the perfect scheme, you're not stopping Lamar right now. Yeah. And will, will it last till the end of the season? We'll see. That's right. But yeah, as of right now, like, and obviously – we can change our opinions as we go. If you know, now let me ask you a different question. If you think this is a Super Bowl rematch, would you rather win this game or, and know that you can beat that team or you lose this game? I think I think it's so hard to beat a team twice in the NFL. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, there's uh, a reason divisional opponents, even bad divisional opponents against good divisional opponents – split a lot of games. I will say this, it 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 matters right now because your goal is just to get to the Super Bowl. You get to the playoffs. Well, but, but it's but not, not, a divi- not just to get to the but playoffs, but a, yeah, as a one or two seed, but it, it's not but, a divisional game. No, it's not it's not divisional, but it's not a conference but you're game. looking at at totals right now, yes. right? The Seahawks have two losses. They have a Correct. win over the 49ers. If the 49ers yeah. lose this game, all of a sudden, the Seahawks. Yeah, but if they split with the 49ers, then that win is moot. I agreed. So they got it. They do have to play twice. But you've I'm not worried lost about. Di- I'm not worried about divisional teams because they have to play them a second time. I'm. I'm saying you would like to have home field. Oh, I for the duration of the playoffs. I completely agree with that. And but if, nobody's close to them right now, home field wise. The Saints have an extra loss. The the Packers now have an extra loss and not the tiebreaker. Well, no, the the Saints have two losses. Yeah. And the Seahawks have two losses, and the 49ers have one loss. That's right. So the Seahawks would be tied with them. Or the Packers, 49ers would be tied with them. But I, don't just, think the, I think the 49ers are a better team than all of those teams. I mean, I think you're probably right. And with the Ravens, like you need to keep winning and hope that the Pats lose to somebody. Lose another game. Because, the, because yes, because you've got the tiebreaker over them if they can lose another one. I think you don't want to be. You don't want. I'm gonna tell you the Belichick thing. They want to keep winning because they don't want to play Kansas City and then play Baltimore. Yeah, they want to play Houston or the Colts or or some other crappy team that finds a way to get into the playoffs in the AFC. Yeah, if the Titans slip up and get in or the Steelers get it, like that's who they want to play, and then let Baltimore and Kansas City take one another out. And then they'll get the extra guy. Yeah, they say we got to win one game, then we go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Eleventh time, as we spend time or whatever. We spent forever on that game, but that's the right game. That's (laughs) the game you spend the most amount of time with. This late in the season, a two loss team against a one loss team, and right now, both of those teams are. If you were doing power rankings, that is one and two. Yeah, and and everybody in the country might have a different one and two, but that's one and two. And there is a clear definition between those two teams and what the Patriots look like because of how inept the Pats are offensively. Yeah. I mean, the, the gap between them and three, I think, is sizable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's why that game warrants that amount of time and energy. That totally makes sense. Six points is insane. That's a way too many points. And I think the bad weather helps the def- the the more defensive team. I, I agree with you. I do agree with you. All right, let's move on. Game number two, Vikings at the Seahawks. This is Monday night game. Seahawks a three-point favorite. No rain. No rain. Temperature's going to be around 40 degrees. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. Uh, it, so nothing too crazy to worry about for a Vikings team that is used to, uh, used to the Dome. Total is 49. It's on ESPN at 7.15 p.m. It's at CenturyLink Field in Seattle. Uh Russell Wilson, of course, playing out of his mind. Cousins, though, has looked really, really good. And and I brought this up multiple times. With Dalvin Cook playing healthy, this Vikings team is completely different than they were last year. I 
I like I like the Vikings here. I do too. I, I really wish they could get Diggs back. I, they look how good they've played without a weapon like Diggs. Not yeah. Diggs without a uh, 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 Thielen. Sorry. Yeah, they do have Diggs. I apologize. Without Thielen, I mean that's just one more weapon. They've been without him for a while, and it's hey, you know of, who stepped up in his spot? Kind of hadn't slowed down at all. Irv Smith. Yeah, no, er, no. Irv Smith Jr. Is, has looked really good. Other dudes are stepping up. And, yeah, and they got a lot of weapons on offense. Cousins is playing out of his mind. You're right. That the being outdoors and and stuff doesn't bother him. He spent his entire career in in first grew up at Michigan State playing college football. It doesn't get any nastier than that weather wise. Yeah, and and then he played in Washington. And it's he, so, I saw him in so many rain soaked yeah, games. No, that I kind of I if it's bad weather, I like Kurt. Yep, uh, but it's, I, but I it's not. There's no rain. No. It's just going to be cold. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, I think the I kind of went into this are used to playing close games. I thought this was going to be a closer line than this. I thought this was going to be close to a pick em. I really did. And maybe I'm discrediting Seattle, and, and I shouldn't. But if there's a chance Clowney won't play in this game, he has been a, a game Beast. wrecker yeah. right now. I bet Houston would like his ass back. <laughs> um, but uh, – I, I Man, I, I'm I'm going with the team that I think catching points because Seattle's going to play field goal games with everybody, and there's a really good chance they could lose this field goal game. Oh, yeah. I think the Vikings are good. Oh, I think they're really good. Uh, what do you think about the point total being 49? I think Seattle's scoring a lot, and, and Vikings are scoring a lot. I, they, these are two teams that are known for being defensive teams. I don't I don't know that they're that anymore. I, I think you're probably right. I, I I was kind of expecting it to be in the 50s. The fact that it's not, I, I like the over. I think they're going to – listen, there's not a defense in the country that's stopping Russell Wilson. They're not holding him to nothing. Okay, He's putting up 20 points. You want to beat him, the game's going to have to get close to the 50s. Yeah. Because he's scoring. Yeah, I agree. And I, 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 I think this Vikings scoring, team – But he's going to score. So we both taking Vikings straight up. Man, I feel like an idiot just – discrediting Russell Wilson, especially as great as Lamar's playing, and he knows if he wants to stay in this MVP race, he's he's got to continue to ball out. But, yeah, I I like this Viking team before the season started. Listen, if they're going to catch Green Bay in the division, they can't be losing games. Now you got that right. You've got that right. All right, let's uh, – before we move into the next game, let's talk about Smack Apparel real quick. Okay. New sponsor for the show, smackapparel.com. Use the promo code WIN, that's W-I-N, 20% off your order. And if you order more than 40 bucks worth, then you get free shipping. That's right. It's pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, they've got some incredible t-shirts, man. At rivalry shirts, NFL, uh, college. They just got fun shirts. I mean, they, all, all, the, all, the spro- all, all the sports, they've got a bunch of them. And, uh, yeah, I've got a got a little, little shopping cart made of a couple of shirts that, that – that's it. Chris has got one for uh, get myself. Uh, from the sixth round to six-time world champion. He's That's got a, right. a goat right. on it little, with the Tom Brady jersey. Tommy shirt. Can't get enough of those. Uh, you got some awesome Browns gear. You got some Steelers gear. You got yeah. it, And then in college, of course, you got LSU, Alabama, uh, Ole Miss. It, all, they it, might not have all, all the teams. They're not going to have all the teams. But, but they got a lot of them. They got a lot of them. And there's some funny, funny stuff in there. That's right. So they, they got some anti, some hateful stuff for your rivalry games. They also just got some really fun shirts. Right. You know, it's the the novelty kind of stuff, and I mean they're awesome. It's uh, shirts yeah. are reasonably priced twenty, 20 bucks, twenty percent off too. I mean that's a yeah. that's a it's perfect for Cyber Monday, the, perfect for the Black old, Friday. The old man in me, I just don't like when people give like a five percent off thing or whatever. Like it's something. It's better to get something off than nothing off. Yeah, but I'm just one. I'm just an old man, and like. You got to move the needle if you want me to 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 jump. And twenty percent, twenty percent's a lot. Moves the needle. That it moves. Yeah, it moves my needle. I mean, you 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 order five shirts, twenty bucks a piece. I got, piece, I got that's fifty bucks. bucks. I got fifty bucks worth of shirts in here, and I got twenty bucks off, man, or ten bucks off. That's a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good that's stuff. A lot. And and you order free fifty shipping. bucks worth, yeah, got free ten bucks off. You still got free shipping there. That's right. So go to smackapparel dot com. Use promo code WIN. That's W I N. WIN. Yeah, win. Four winning cures everything, of course. 
So W I N the promo code get twenty percent off. I'm telling you, you're gonna Helps like the shirt. Pay some bills and and get yeah. you get you some swag. Go to uh, go to smackapparel.com. Good gifts if you're into giving to other people. I'm just shopping Absolutely. for me, or if you just want to shop for you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. All right, game number three, Pats at the Texans. It is Sunday night football. Texans are a three-point dog at home. The line opened four and a half. First time it, in a long time that the public has been against the Pats. Patriots. Yeah, the offense has just not looked great. Now, they've played some really good defenses lately. Let me. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to justify this in my head. The off, there's something not right. But Philly's defense, no joke. They're, they're, a, they're a real defense. Their offense sucked. The Phillies a lot like Kind of, I guess, a poor man's patch right now. Yeah, something like that. You know, and then and then last week, once again, play play another good defense, and you know, just just win and get by. Yeah, and the Cowboys have been a a, a a a a, I guess, a good defensive team. Yeah, I mean, they have, they have, uh, and it was nasty weather last week, and you know, but it it, it hasn't always been weather. Like I'm it's, not. It's, I don't know why. I was I was worried about the Cowboys game a little bit. I. I was not worried about the Eagles game because they've just looked like crap lately. Yeah, I'm not worried about Houston. Deshaun I, Watson scares the hell out of me, but for some reason, Bill O'Brien that team does I, not look great. No, and Deshaun Watson's a freak. Oh yeah, he absolutely. I'm telling you, at, and I've I've done this all year. Yeah, I don't trust Bill O'Brien. You're right. I you should his his not play calling, but just his game plans. Make no sense to me. They, I how, understand they got the win against the Colts last. How Hopkins has been as mediocre as I've ever seen. That has to be scheming and play calling. Yes, because he is too good of an athlete and a receiver for it not to be. I mean, it, and, and, it's and not he, him, and it ain't Watson. So who the hell is it? Yeah, he single handedly won the Colts game last week. Yes, and they still only put up twenty points. Didn't look great. You know, it, the, the Colts did not play great and still got the cover. That's right. So you you get the win. Texans look like they're probably going to win the AFC South. We think. I mean, hell, they're only two games up. We and got they, six they still, to go. They still got to play the Titans twice. Yeah, they still so, got. It, well, and you know, the NFL. I do like that the NFL backloads the divisional games. I mean, they got a lot of divisional games to go. They're only two games up. Yeah. I mean, they, they still got three. They got the Titans twice. They got the Jags. Yeah, they 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 the they nice the thing Colts, is, is yeah they, they're done with the Colts, and that was Colts. a team I thought was going to give them hell. I, I, mean, needed, I needed the win Thursday night. Yeah. I needed the win Thursday night for the Colts to take the division. Who, uh, I'm guessing you're going to take Pats minus three? Yeah, this this game, I don't know why, after we've looked so bad the last two weeks, I'm not worried about this game. A, I think I just have enough confidence that I, I kind of like a pissed off Tom. I think every week, Jacoby Myers is getting a little bit better. Yeah. Gil Harry's getting a little bit better. That defense for, for Houston, man, they don't scare me. No. Not at all. You know, the first time they shut down the team will be the first time they shut down anybody. You and I, uh, we liked the exact same thing for every game last week. And we got four straight-up winners and four covers last week. So we did pretty good. Uh, we both went four and one. In, it in usually both scares of me when I disagree with when I agree with you because you hadn't done yeah. great in the NFL. And and so far but tonight, I wasn't worried about it last. Through, week. Well, in, in the big games, I have done awesome. I've done I've gone well, thirty six yes. and twenty four straight up, thirty six and twenty four against the spread. Uh, in the big game picks, yes. Now in in my gambling picks, <laughs> that's a different story. Just take your big games, man. So I, that's probably what I need to be doing. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it, so we we've done pretty well here, and so far through three we. We like the exact same things again. Like we're starting to think similarly with, and I think that's easy to do because we're starting to figure out the NFL here a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could be easily wrong. I have no real idea of what that Ravens Forty Nine er game is going to look like. Oh yeah, I mean, it, I I feel okay about the Minnesota game because I think, I mean, I think they, I think they need that game a little better, and. And, and the Pats, the, Pats neither, Texans. We don't I'm, trust Bill O'Brien. I don't trust Bill O'Brien, and I can't figure out why they're not better. Yeah. I mean, if they had been playing a little more dominant throughout the year, I would be worried. But maybe I not. should be worried, and maybe they're going to get got, but. I don't buy it. I don't think it's going to be this week. I mean, they're not going to win that win out. I don't think they're going to finish, you know, 15, 15 and, one. and 1. But at the same time, <laughs> I just don't think it's going to be this week. No, I don't think it is either. I don't think it is either. Let's move on to the next one. 
Titans at the Colts. Colts a two and a half point favorite. It opened three and it's moved down. Ryan Tannehill, four and one as a starter. And it, the only player in the league that has more fantasy points over the last five weeks than Ryan Tannehill Lamar. is Lamar Jackson. That's absurd to me. Yeah. It, now, fantasy points is a little weird number. A well, lot yes. of players have had a bye week in that span of five weeks. And they had the bye week early, so that I mean, so when you take a game away from some of these guys, that changes everything. Even still, but he's but they look great. He's been they look unbelievable. Great. Nope, nothing against him. They look great. That's a weird stat. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, the Titans have looked awesome. Uh, I said in week three, I think it was week three, that I was not betting on the Titans again. Okay. There was no chance of me doing that. The Colts okay. have owned these guys. This isn't one of my gambling picks. I'm taking the Titans here. I'll take the Colts. The Colts own this team, and I still think the Colts are in consideration for this division. I, well, I so just, are the Titans. I just do. Yeah, but I don't trust this team. I don't trust the Titans. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. The Titans have been beating up on some weaklings. I, that's that's fine. Now I guess it's what you got to do. You can't lose to those teams and be in consideration to be you know seen as good. Um, I think Jacksonville's a lot worse than I thought they were. I but thought it, Jacksonville was Don't forget, good. I mean, the Titans did just beat the Colts, or the uh, the Chiefs, too. That's right. No, that's so, right. Nope. You know, you're and, right. And they, the Colts beat them, too, but either way. Uh, yeah, I I just, I, I feel like there's something different going on here with this Titans team. They have really started rallying here. They've looked insanely better with Ryan Tannehill, uh, which I would have never imagined. At the end of the day, I still don't trust play calling. I can understand I mean, that. I, I, I Give me the Colts coaching staff. Give me Jacoby Brissett. You know, I know the Colts are banged up. They're not 100%. I don't know. I it's, just, a, it's, just a, it's just a comfort level. That I makes sense. I just trust that organization with the front office that they've got right now, with the head coaching that they have right now, the play calling, the quarterback. I just feel like they're just more stable. That's a, that's a 12 p.m. game CBS at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Uh Colts at home, yeah, have definitely owned the Titans. And less uh, than a field goal. Yeah, less than a field goal. You know, I could see somebody taking the Colts there, but I, I think the Titans win. I think the Titans win this game straight up. Um, let's move on to – let's let's do Thanksgiving. And this was uh, a fairly, fairly big game, I think. The Bills at the Cowboys. A uh, lot of crazy stuff going on with the Cowboys right now. Jerry, for the first time – that I can remember, well, well, it don't seem happy with his head coach right now. Oh, I was about to say, little doubts seeping in. And and what was the? I mean, something came across about uh, Lincoln Riley. And I, mean, I just think a lot of people are connecting Lincoln Riley to this team, which means in his mind, unless they go on some playoff run, I think he, I think he's already kind of emotionally moving on, yeah, um, from Jason and gonna make a run at. At Lincoln. Well, I mean, the window closes so quickly in the NFL. If you are going to make a run, if you want to catch somebody, and Jerry's getting on up there in years. If you're going to make a run at a Super Bowl, you got to catch that window. Well, you're not making a run with Jason. Yeah, you're not making He's a run with He's had some really good teams. And has not been able and to And has not done, done anything with them. So, Mike Lombardi pointed this out in his podcast this week of breaking down uh, – the things about what a CEO type head coach should be watching and doing. You knew you were going to New England. You knew the weather was bad. So you don't have anything to do with play calling. There's a couple of coaches out there that that do that. That's fine. You you know that you're going up against a world class head coach that will be more prepared than you. You understand that. Dak at halftime comes out and is working on practicing with a glove. Bill Belichick historically will freeze footballs, soak all the footballs during practice. It stormed and rained all week in New England. Before that game, they practiced outside every day because that's what the weather's going to be like on Sunday. Yeah, get ready. It looked like the Cowboys had not practiced in bad weather all week. And these are just details that a head coach should say, hey, the the balls are going to be wet. They're going to be cold. Let's see how Dak handles that. Okay, all right. During the week, he's struggling. Let's see Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How does he feel with a glove on? Okay, is it help him? Does it not? 
that is not one of those things where you come out after halftime and you're starting to warm up to see how you feel. You know the answer before you ever get to Sunday, and it's details like that to where if you're going to be a CEO head coach or a defensive-minded head coach and you got to watch the offense, if your OC and your quarterback's coach aren't paying attention to these things, that's your job as the head coach to say, hey, yeah, what do we do? And the, the question Mike Lombardi asks is, is, what does Jason do? As the CEO head coach, what does he do all week? Because he doesn't help game plan on either side of the football. He, and he's obviously not watching for detailed, specific things that are going to happen throughout the game that you might run into. Why are they paying? And I think he makes like $8 million. Like, why are you it's, paying him that? It's it's the what does uh, he do? it's office space, right? It's like, yes. What exactly would you would say you, say you, do, you here? do here? That's right. That's that's the question. And and I've never heard a former GM that's pretty plugged into the NFL. Lombardi's got guys for all 32 organizations that talk to him. Yeah. And he talks about how at the Cowboys, Jason doesn't do a lot. But he's the face, and he's basically the yes man for Jerry. At the end of the day, that will never win a championship. Yeah. It doesn't matter the talent on the field. You're going to miss too many details that will cost you games. Yeah. Uh, the Cowboys are a six-and-a-half-point favorite here. I think that's total, ridiculous. Total is 46. Uh, it's 3.30 p.m. CBS on Thanksgiving from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Uh, the only thing that scares me is the Bills haven't exactly beaten a bunch of good teams. I don't need them to beat them. I just need them to hang with them. Well, that's – so, I mean, it is less than a touchdown here. Okay. I like I like. – I'm going to take the Bills. I like the Bills here. I think this coaching mismatch this week is no different than last week's. But I really like Sean McDermott. Now, the Bills' offense, I mean, they, they might be better than the Patriots' offense. Yeah, Their offensive be. line sure better than the Pats' offensive line. I, so, I'm going to take – the Bills to cover. I'm gonna take the Cowboys to win the game because I, I think they need it more. And and yeah, they need it more because I don't I know think, what the Bills are playing for. But I mean, the Bills are playing for wild card you know, spot, wild card. Oh, but shit, I, they yeah. may already have that wrapped up. I mean, they're eight and three. Well, not wrapped up, but you, you get the point. No, they might have that wrapped up. The a, the AFC, <laughs> the AFC yeah. close to being done. It's uh, it, you know who the last wild card would be in the AFC right now? The Steelers. Steelers. Yeah, which is. Absurd. That's why you don't end the game today. Because a guy named Duck is starting as their quarterback. Just ridiculous. So, yeah. Are, are you taking the Bills straight up? Yeah, I'll take the Bills to win this game. I, uh, I'll uh, call I'm, an upset. I'm terrified of that. Uh, I'm going to take the Cowboys to win. I'm going to take the Bills to cover. Uh, because I think the defense hangs them in this game. But I, I think... I think they're going to be close. I, I think that Dak and them find a way to get it done because they, they need this one. I agree. I agree. But the, the problem is, is whose job is it to, to to put that urgency on them? Well, I mean, I think that would be Jason Garrett, but I don't think he's going to do there it. There was a point in the game where Dak was walking off the field to the sidelines in between series, and Jason was trying to talk to him, and he just didn't even acknowledge him. That's pretty insane. And that's not – Dak is not a I'm going to show up my coach guy. No. But I think he knows I'm going to go talk to the people that actually make decisions on this team, and I'm not wasting my time listening to you because you don't have anything to say that will benefit this. Yeah. And I – because he's not a show-up-his-coach guy. He's not a a, a, a kind of draw attention to himself no, guy. he's not a diva. No, not – he. I mean, he's anything but it. He just point blank ignored his head coach walking off the field to the sidelines because I, in my opinion of that was, he that's a guy that doesn't have anything to add to the conversation. Yeah, I mean he's going to pat him on the butt and say we'll get him next drive, but that's but that I don't need to hear that right now. I need to figure out how to get this ball in the end zone. Yeah, because yeah, for forty something minutes we haven't moved it past the fifty. Yeah, I mean it's so it was ridiculous. You got that right. All right, let's go on and do a, a rapid fire. Roll. Thursday, Thanksgiving, first game up, Bears at the Lions. It looks like Jeff Driscoll's not going to play. They, uh, they're they saying that he's still having hamstring problems. He won't play. You know who the third string is? I don't. David Ball, the kid, the rookie from Purdue. Yeah. 
Like, it, this is nuts. Now, it, so just a little conversation here. We're not going to get too much on this. Apparently, the Lions were one of the two teams that was interested in Colin Kaepernick. That doesn't with, surprise with me. With Stafford being out and all that. that but surprise me. they were terrified of bringing him in for a workout because they felt it would bring too much attention and all that kind of mess. So that's why the NFL, like, it was, it was them and I want to say the Falcons. I mean, I'm sure there was a couple of teams. So it, well, it was two teams. I think the reason we had the workout was because teams wanted to sign him, but they needed the NFL to help cover for them. Yes. And then Colin kind of, I guess everybody got the feeling that he doesn't really want a job. Yeah. And therefore, everyone immediately said, well, hell, we wanted this guy, but I can't take him now. Yeah, that's it. when when he changed locations. I've it, and we're not going to get into a ton no. of this, but yeah, it is. But it, it was fairly obvious after like it came out three days later, four days later, whatever, that he has a shoe deal and his new shoes coming out and all that. It, there would be no value for him to take a backup job. That's right. Like it just it, it makes. But no I sense. think he was going to be a starter in in Detroit. Yeah. But nobody's going to call and tell his people that because then that gets leaked, and now. The Detroit fans, we have the same problem that they were afraid of all along. But if he just shows up, he does the workout. Detroit says, "Hey, we got a quarterback with a broke back. We're gonna put you. We're gonna bring you in. We're gonna let you back up one week while you learn the offense, and then we're gonna put you out there." Yeah. And and I think I if they could have gotten work, but the problem is, is the NFL has just it's just a sieve. Yeah. It's just a sieve. I mean, there are there are. Just loose lips sinking that ship all day long. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, so back to the game itself. Bears at Lions. No Jeff Driscoll, uh, but the Bears aren't exactly, you know, world beaters. Uh, I no, think I would I, roll Bears here. I, th- I think they're going to handle the Lions, though. Yeah, you I mean, it's – third-string quarterback in. This, yeah. this, this defense hasn't been, you know, 85 Bears, Chicago, great, but – a hell of but a they've lot. still been really good. That's right. Yeah, they're a hell of um, a lot better than a lot of other defenses, and they should handle the lines. Yeah, the lines short, man. I mean, the lines three. Well, you know what's crazy? I mean, it opened at Lions minus one and a well, half. I think that was before the Driscoll news yeah. came out that he was definitely out. That's yeah. why it's moved as much as it's moved. That makes sense. Uh, the other Thanksgiving game: Saints out the Falcons. Uh, no Julio Jones. It looks like. And this is a revenge uh, game for the Falcons, though. Yeah, for the Saints, yeah. man. I mean, they. They got drubbed at home by the They Falcons. were rolling. They looked like the 49ers better not slip up because we might be the best team in the NFC. And then Atlanta went into their house, into New Orleans, and beat the hell out of them. They held them to zero touchdowns. Uh, beat them, what, 27-9? to nine, Yeah. I think that was? No, it was insane. Uh, it was strange. I will be shocked if that happens again. Uh, it, it won't happen again. With, with no Julio Jones, uh, the Falcons are going to rely on, on Ridley and uh, – what Austin Hooper or really, is Hooper really, out? Really had me. Well, no, Ho- Hooper's really out. Been great either. Um, so. yeah, well, no, of course not. But it, he'll be the the go to guy. So they they don't have Sanu this time. They don't have Austin Hooper because he's out. Well, they didn't they have Sanu last time. Either. They uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, but they they don't have uh Devontae Freeman this time either. Yeah, like he's out. So I, I don't know what the Falcons are going to do. Yeah, but I I I I will tell you this. I do know what they're going to do. <laughs> they're going to lose this game. They're going to lose this game. Yeah. I, we, so. we think the same on that one. Let's see. Raiders at the Chiefs on Sunday. Uh, Raiders need this one. Bad. To stay in this playoff race. Uh, they, they are fighting for a wild card. I don't think they're going to get there. You don't think the Chiefs need this game? Oh, no. I think the Chiefs need it, too. They don't need but, to win the division. But if they want to if they want to keep keep race with the Patriots and the and the Ravens. I think that's done. Yeah, they've I mean, you're got probably four losses. right. Yes, they've got four losses. But, but. I, I think they do need the game, especially at home. Like, I, But I think the urgency is more on the Raiders side because the Raiders may not make the playoffs. Like, they, they really had aspirations to make the playoffs. Mm. And, well, it, so I don't think they did at the beginning of the season. But as the season went along, they were playing better, et cetera. This is why uh, you don't end the season at six games. At Derek, why you don't hey, end the season at, at, at eight games with a halfway point. Derek Carr got uh, benched in the third quarter against the Jets last week. Now, that's always the scary thing about the West Coast team going to East Coast for, you know, the 1 p.m. kick Eastern time. But, like, it, he did not look good last week. And he has been looking really good. But, man, did they get I, walloped last I, week. I think we had a lot of the Raiders playing above their head for a lot of the season. 
And I might be wrong on that. But, uh, could, what, what's the line on that one? Open at eight and a half. I'm looking at ten right now. Ooh, it's a big number. But I got. I six. think it's doable. All right. Eight and a half. It moved up to ten. But seventy-eight percent of the money and, and the picks are on the Raiders. So the lines move in the opposite direction. So they're warning more people keep to keep take the, the Raiders. Raiders. Keep betting the Raiders. Yeah, I think I think the Chiefs will will cover that. I think they will destroy. The she said, about, "Hey, Andy Reid off a of bye week, pretty damn good." Oh yeah, I, I I think only Belichick has a better record off a of bye week than Andy Reid. That makes sense, and that that's pretty strong. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty strong. So last uh last one for us: Browns at the Steelers. Uh, Steelers a two point dog at home. They got uh, they Mason got Rudolph starting. Mason Rudolph got benched. Yeah, he did for a. For a quarterback named Duck. Did you hear Tomlin's uh, press conference where they were asking, like, you know, why are you going with uh, Devlin Hodges yeah. instead of instead of Rudolph? And he, he walked up to the mic, and it's uh, because he don't kill us. And, <laughs> and he steps back, and he kind of grins, and they're laughing. And it's like, okay, so expound a little bit. And he's like, you don't have to expand. Watch the film. He don't kill us. He sucks. Yeah, like it, he's no good. It's our our defense is playing well enough to win games. The 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 best thing that could have happened to the Steelers is Miles actually hit him with the good part of the helmet, not the bad part of the helmet. Because then that fixes your problem, and you get to like rob the team up and get them all riled up, and now it's just like. We're supposed to be fighting for this guy, but we kind of don't want him to be our quarterback. Yeah, he's kind of not good. Uh, I, I'll say this. I, I think it will get chippy. Uh, I mean, it's, well, it's chippy all the time anyway. But I'm going to say this. I disagree with that. I think early in this game, we're going to get some 15-yard penalties. Think so? I think the refs are going to – I'm going to bet the league office has instructed them, throw the flag early, throw the flag often. And make and sure if, you get this thing under control. And if, and if you got to throw people out, throw people out. But okay. we're not going to have what we had last time. And we're not going to let them get because because if they don't do that, it's it's going to be it's going to get bad. It's going to be. I will tell you. So Brown's apologist. I get it. I I made it very clear that Miles Garrett, my favorite football player, not named Tom Brady, once Joe Thomas retired, and and it's tough, but. I listened to Chris Long on the Ryan Rosillo show Monday, and he talked about how all of the people that were so appalled, and th- and Chris Long is a pretty socially active guy, yeah. played an entire year, so like he's not your typical, you know, oh we just live in a country where everybody's soft. But he was just like, if if y'all think that's the worst thing you've ever seen on a football field, you're lying if you've covered the game at all, because. Practices that happen, fights that happen in practice between own teammates. He said, "I've seen helmets thrown and connected worse than that. We just don't have cameras everywhere, but you still got the, all those reporters out there." He said, "So, are you appalled at what happened, or are you appalled at the image that it gives the league? Because nobody sees all those other fights, but they are far worse, far yeah. worse than that." So, you know, I it was a fight. He shouldn't have swung the helmet. He admitted he shouldn't have swung the helmet. Everybody in the world wishes he had connected a little better, <laughs> except for Mason and his family. I, I think that's the I think that's the truth. You might be right. I don't even think his own teammates wanted him there. Now these these two teams really don't like each other. Uh, I think it's just something that happened. Like as soon as you sign the contract to yeah. play for that team, yeah. you immediately start well, one hating team, the other. One team has been the little brother that's been kicked around for a long, 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 long time. And and the little brother that this year really felt like they had. Something was well, technically. I mean, they. You know, I mean, it's still there for the day. They're right there with the Steelers. Yeah, it's uh, they, and they have the tiebreaker currently. I mean, we shall see. They win this game, then they're going to take that spot. Yeah, we uh, we shall see. All right, that's going to wrap it up. NFL Week 13 previews. Of course, like we said, go to Smack Apparel. Use promo code Win for twenty percent off. And if you spend over forty bucks, you get free shipping. So go check that out. SmackApparel.com. Go find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Uh, all of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. If you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you like this week, what you don't like, etc. We love to hear your opinions. 
And as always, every week, we're brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. Go find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. We'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.